to her about the terror attack and what had shattered what should be a safe family haven. You're so right. Uh, the problem is that these people are now hitting soft targets. Uh, as you know, we have had very successful zarb azb operations in our North Waziristan, and um, there have been radical reduction in the terrorist attacks in the recent years. Uh, they are now choking, and this was their way of propaganda by vicious deed. And uh, you might be aware that our Prime Minister immediately uh, called for uh, a meeting with our concerned security agencies. And now they have started a very robust response in Punjab as well. As you would too be aware, though, the, the Prime Minister has come under sustained criticism for not failing to act quickly enough. And certainly after the Peshawar primary school attack, things did change a little. But was it allowed to fester that has now allowed these extreme groups, these splits, to actually carry out these attacks? Well, you must understand that uh, these attacks are perpetrated by people who have their bases outside Pakistan. We have taken all action within the country. We have to work together as international community to stop the funding sources. Firstly, I would deeply appreciate Australia's support to us. Uh, the expression of solidarity that was given yesterday was very touching. Um, I literally had tears in my eyes when I saw the King's Avenue in Canberra overpass having green and white color. But the international community has, looked, has to look into it. How these people are getting their funds? How are they getting these arms? Where are they getting these ammunitions from? It is not from Pakistan. So I think uh, these issues have to be addressed very seriously. But why is Pakistan the, the target? They claim to target Christians, but in many of these attacks, mostly Muslims are hurt. Exactly. That's a very valid point you have used. It's not about Christians or Muslims. It's about uh, creating hatred. They make these statements to make Christians hate Muslims and Muslims hate Christians. And I think we have to counter this narrative as far as the government of Pakistan is concerned, as far as we are concerned. These were all Pakistanis who were hurt, who were injured, who were killed. And innocent children, mothers taking their children to park. And of course, the people who died, the bomb didn't look at which religion it was hitting. And these people ha have to be exposed that they are not Muslims, they are not Christians, they have no respect for any boundaries, they have respect for no religion, they have respect for no humanity. And the Prime Minister, the, the crackdown that he has announced, and he was, as you say, strong and came out very clearly on, uh, in a national address, where will be the initial targets, do you think? Well, uh, you see, um, for example, I can say that Australia and Pakistan are working together uh, you have to work on intelligence. You have to find out where they have sleeping cells because their active operations have been defanged in Pakistan. So uh, intelligence sharing, finding out where they are based, where they are running from. As you know, Pakistan's borders, both on east and west, are very porous. So it has to be a concerted effort within the regional countries and in the international community to have intelligence sharing, to catch them before they can hit you. And now we have decided earlier on they were coming to our homes. Now we'll be going to theirs. Mrs. Chauhan, we do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.